So I heard you guys are trying to figure out how to paint it with 3D renders. Well, guess what? Me too. <laughs> in the previous video, I was working on building the scene in 3D and this is what I had towards the end. And then after I got some feedback from my friends, because my friends are awesome and our Discord server is awesome and you should join it if you want feedback. I got some feedback from them and this is what I ended up doing next. Some of the things that I ended up changing a little bit, um, the first thing that we looked at was uh, pretty much the lighting. The lighting where it was a little bit cooler, worked a little bit better as opposed to having everything that was like super warm. So there was that. And then we ended up changing this guy, just got rid of this guy because there wasn't really a path where he was that was leading him to the main focal point. So at this point, it was like very clear that you can just like go up here. That's the focal point. And the other thing that I ended up designing was the gate a little bit, make it look a little bit more interesting, add a little bit of functionality to it as well. And for the guards also, I kind of like just, you know, remove their mask to some extent, like give them a half mask. I just got these models from Mixamo. And we also made the made the characters up here like bending down a little bit because maybe they're tired making their journey towards this gate up here. And I have the narrative where like um, like these guys with the robes, they have a, a tattoo on their wrist and that enables them to enter this place, right? And the tattoo is gonna be of this symbol. So that's kind of like the narrative that I'm planning out. And I wanna do like a sequence of shots. So it's gonna be like, you know, a sequential. But so the next step now would be painting over this. And how are we gonna paint over this? Um, I don't know, you know, we'll... <laughs> You thought you were gonna learn from a pro. Hell nah. It's the free stuff here. You learn from noobs like me. So we'll see. So the first thing that I'm actually gonna do is get some render passes. And I know I've kind of talked about this in my previous videos. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change to Eevee up here. And we're gonna go ahead and render this, render this real quick. So this is the combined render. And usually my render preview, I keep it pretty small so that it renders fast. I'm gonna go, I'm just, pretty much I'm just gonna go down this list and I'm gonna turn off my overlays as well. And uh, let's see, environment, not much, ambient occlusion. Okay, so we could start off with ambient occlusion. Usually by default, ambient occlusion isn't like super strong. So you have to like enable it. And I'm gonna go to this up here, ambient occlusion. You can increase your distance if you want more shadow. I think I'm just gonna leave it pretty low. And then I'm just gonna go up here, go to view, viewport, render image. Once I get that, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And just like that, I'm gonna save multiple render passes. So next I'm gonna go shadow, let's see if I get anything. Nope, transparent. I could probably use this for the fire. So let's go ahead and get it. Speckler light, this could work to add some highlights up here on color dodge or screen. So I'm gonna get this. Speckler color, eh, volume light. I could use this for the fog up here so we can get that too. Let's go bloom. Oh yeah, bloom for the fire would look good. And then let's get normal. So normal is pretty good. I don't use it a whole lot, but sometimes if you want to make like specific selections, like if I want to just select the, the side part of this uh, candle torch or the side part of this character, and you know how you see how like it's colored in green. So I can just use the color picker and use that. So we're going to go ahead and get it. And there's no harm in getting all the render passes. I mean, if you don't end up using it, you just don't use it, but it's always good to have more. And then last but not the least, the mist pass, the most important one. Mist pass, you can really like, get some good depth or show like depth in your scene. And for your mist pass, you can actually control the the depth up here. If you go to your world properties, and you can mess with that, the start. And I usually put it on linear and then we'll go to mess around with these sliders. Actually, there's another one that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a clown pass. So we're gonna change to workbench. And from here, I'm gonna go to flat. We'll go to random. So I get these the random colors on my objects here. And it's good for like making selections. Now, when I rendered this out, I had two versions. I had one with the fog, with the volumetric, and then one that was without. And I just thought I'd keep them both just in case I need, but the fog isn't too strong. So I can probably just like leave it. And the one thing that I'm also gonna do is that I'm actually gonna color correct this a little bit. So to color correct, I usually make a copy of this first. I'm gonna go to filter and then camera raw filter. And so let me zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna go to light up here. See if I can play around the exposure. Maybe I can like pull this up a little bit, kind of like brighten everything out. That's if you like, cause I feel like it was a little too dark. Contrast, maybe we can pull back the contrast a little bit. I can always paint it back, but I wanna reveal some parts of it and shadow temperature. Maybe we can make it a little bit more warmer or maybe cooler. Ooh, ooh, that looks cool. Maybe I will not mess with it that much. Just a little bit. Bring up the vibrance a little bit. Saturation. Pull it. Keep it the way it is. Let's go to effect. We don't really want to add any texture. 
curve not really color mixer color grading let's go with color grading i guess shadows i can probably have like some more warmer shadows see if that does anything so yeah just little subtle stuff so yeah this is like before and after and then now i'm gonna drag and drop all my render passes okay and then i usually i like to rasterize all my layers and then i also put them all in a single group we're just gonna call that render passes i'm gonna make sure the clown is at the very top so that i can always reveal it make selections and let's go ahead and close these out first the first thing i'm gonna do is that let me just use the bloom put this on let's see color dodge screen i think it works better on screen so we'll put it on screen and then this fire right here Let's see, maybe we can put this on, put that on color dots for now. I feel like it's giving me, the, I like the nice orange color that I'm getting from there. And ambient occlusion, let's turn that on. We put that on multiply. And it kind of brings back some of the shadows, but it's also like messing up in this area, which I don't really like. Delete those black parts. And sometimes it can be like super harsh, like up here. So I usually just lower down the opacity a little bit. Now volume light, let's bring that on top of everything. And this I can put it on screen as well. And so what it's doing is that it's bringing back some of the shadow up here. And once again, if it feels a little bit too overpowering, I can lower down the opacity a little bit. So let's let's go to the mist pass next. And so with the mist pass, I'd like to make a copy of it first. Put it on um, screen. There you go. And then we're gonna hit Control B, color balance. Gonna make it a little bit more cooler you like that or maybe let's see if you put it on maybe it'll make it a little bit more warmer I like the vibe with that let's see what that looks like and lower down the opacity a little bit what i really want is that i want separation between this character and the stuff up here because without it you see how like he the silhouette is getting mixed in so i want to create that mostly and so i can also further manipulate this let me put it back 100 percent if i hit Control l open up my levels with this I can control the fog you see that see how cool this is maybe I can push this to the right a little bit so there's more put it on the right it goes away boom to the left ah what the fuck I have to like play around with this a little bit let's put it maybe something like this for now also control Y just kind of see my value read so it looks pretty good I feel like once I hide once I paint in more highlights and probably add some more clouds or mist here it'll look better be able to create that separation now I'm just gonna bump up the saturation on this so that it's easier to make selections. There you go. Okay. And now, whatever painting that I'm gonna now start doing, like I wanna paint in a little bit up here, like on the sand here too, then there's some clipping happening here. All of that, and you know, these rocks are floating in the air. All the painting goes below the render passes. Okay, so for that, I'm just gonna make a layer up here. And then for my eraser as well, I'll be using a textured eraser. So that as I'm erasing, I'm still adding a little bit of texture. And see up here that there's this weird shape here. I'll just go back to my layer where I have my render and I can just come up here, make a selection right there. And right click on this, do a fill and then change it to content aware. There you go, that looks cool, that looks good. It's like a closed shape now. Now for this, I will make a selection of him first. I just realized I was painting on the wrong layer. Bummer. <laughs> oh well, it's all right. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a uh, threshold adjustment layer on this just to see if my graphic read is clear. I guess it's kinda i feel like all of this is a little bit too dark I need to add more highlights like if i add highlight here on this dude then it kind of reads a little bit on his form just select this part right here what i can also do is let me select some of these rocks Probably copy paste some of them. See the mispass. This is the miss right. 
Control U. Let me see if I can saturate it a little bit. Can I colorize it? Okay. There you go. This looks a little bit better. Let's see before, after, before, after. Um, this piece right here is really dark. I'm gonna make a lighted layer as well. I wonder if I added a color dodge here. Just curious. That kind of thing, that looks cool. It's getting too blue though. Let's go back to Miss Pass. It's making, I feel like I made it a little too blue. It looks like it's night, but it's not night. A little bit of light up here. Dude, this mispass is whack. I should have uh, I should have paid more attention to this part. It's all getting blended in. So this the volume layer, I'm just gonna control J this. J one more time. One more time. One more time. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and merge these. Put it on screen. Okay. But now I'm gonna make a separation between this part and then the stuff in the back. Okay, so now that's pushed back into the distance. But now what's happening is that my eye is just like staying up here now. Because that's the highest, form of, highest point of like light. So I need to like bring my eyes back down here some way. I'm gonna see if I can like photo bash some like rocks up here. Let's see. So I'm gonna select maybe this part right here. Roughly kind of place, place it down here. I feel like this stretching looks a little awkward. And first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to match my values first. So let's hit control L. Let's see. Make it a little bit darker like that. Something like that. And then now I'm gonna change my color, control B, color balance. It's a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. Take this and place it down here. Slowly mask this out a little bit. Kind of black. So here's a gradient fill. I was just experimenting with this to see if <laughs> looks good. Maybe let's see, 63% opacity. Let's put this on multiply. I want to bring back some of the darkness because I felt like it was a little too bright. Yeah, let's make it a little bit more darker. You can go more, more, more lower. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's a little bit. Put a little bit of that texture on the back up here. Man, I was listening to Not To Lose the other day. Oh God, their music is so good. And maybe The Horizon released a new music too the other day. Oh God, it's so good. Kool-Aid, gotta drink some Kool-Aid, my dude. It's using a bunch of color correcting tools. Let's go to blue, we wanna reduce the blue a little bit.
it actually looks like a rock now. I feel like it was like very, it got like very like swirliness happening here, which is looking super 3D. Yeah, Lighten looks good. I feel like Lighten is giving me the the rock texture right there. Let's see, before and after. Let's look at the other screen. Control L. With my levels, I think I can adjust how much texture I want to show. So I pull it all the way up here and get that kind of thing. Why I never walked away? Why I play myself this way? Now I see you testing me, pushing me away. Let's try the same thing on the other side. Let me just make a copy of this. this is actually, I'm actually, this is day two of me working on this now. I didn't have a whole lot of time working on this piece this week. It's been tough. It's been a rough week, you guys. Um, I've been experiencing burnout to some extent this week. But I still did not want to stop. You know, I, still, I was very close to not making this video. Like, I was like, shit, I don't think I can do this. Um, but I'm glad I stuck with it, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, it's... I feel like it's worth it at the end of the day, you know? And this piece in general just took me so much tweaking, you know? Which is good, you know, I feel like I'm getting a, a chance to experiment a lot here. And that's what you need. You need you need that mileage. And I kind of I'm right now I'm getting that mileage. I have like a major imposter syndrome, you guys, like a major case of that. Like many times I look at the stuff that other people are doing online, which is like 10 times better than what I do. And then I feel like, man, am I even like qualified to make these YouTube videos and call them tutorials when clearly there are people out there who are like way better than me, just kicking ass, doing all these cool things. I have a lot of those moments. Where I'm just like, shit, do I even know what I'm doing? Um, but moments like these, I really have to just step back and reevaluate myself. Just tell myself, you know what, it's it's okay. And don't be too hard on yourself, my dude. It's all right. It's good you're comparing yourself to others, but at the same time, you know, just keep yourself in check. No matter how good you get at something, there'll always be someone better than you. I should change the blend mode of my brush to multiply and I'm just painting a little bit of like darkness here. Yeah, that's blending pretty well. I'm squint. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. If not, then fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you gotta give up. If you can't get that right, you can get it right. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Probably be the end of my life, but... Um, it's looking pretty flat now. First thing that I'm going to do is uh, try to mask it a little bit more. Oh, wait, I, I got to put it on lighten. Let's see, will that do anything? Nah. Um, didn't really do much, if I'm being honest with you all. What if I... Control L. What if I increase... Increase the opacity of this, and then I should probably mask it on the part where I'm getting light and shadows hitting it. People watching these videos are probably like, oh my God, look at this guy. Pretty sure my friends are watching this and being like, oh my God, Omar, how could you not know how to do this? <laughs> I'm trying guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Trying to swim, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying. I feel like I still need like some nice juicy highlights up here. Like in the render, we got these nice juicy highlights hitting up there. Gotta bring those back. Gotta bring them back. Wonder if I can select this, like similar maybe. It's like a whole bunch of. Just gonna fill it up with a solid color. This is where I want the juicy highlights to be on. So we're gonna. I think I'm gonna do it. Let's make a curves. Pull this up a little bit. Um, okay, so like that. Come up here. Hide this. Control Shift I. Alt Delete. Let's see. Okay, so we got something. We got something here. Still cooking. We're still cooking right now. Let's see soft light, hard light, overlay. Ooh, overlay looks good for now. Come back up here on the mask and maybe I'm gonna paint out some of this stuff.
for. So I feel like now there's like a little bit of light hitting it, which is nice. We needed that. Maybe a little extra, but hey. No, it's good. See, without it, it was just like, it was like, eh. Now it's like, ooh, look at that. What is that? Like when I zoom out, like my eyes are like kind of going up here, which kind of eventually leads me down here. Maybe I'm just rambling. I don't know. This is the part where I just like shut off my brain. And I'm just like, <laughs> kind of just focusing like really hard. I'm liking how how this is turning out. I still gotta fix that stupid fire. But for the most part, it's not, it's not too bad. Let's see, let's look, like a, let's look at it before and after. So yeah, that's good. <clears throat> I made this another layer on top and I'm gonna do a, like a little bit more of a painting pass up here. Let's go back to this <laughs> fire. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I forgot what layer was on. Okay. If that once I use Gaussian blur on it, it'll look a little bit better. Okay, so let's go up here. Um, let's use a motion blur on this. Filter blur. Motion blur. You know what? I need to desaturate it a little bit. That's what I need to do. It's looking pretty good so far. Add some more glow on this guy here. I should use maybe. feeling pretty happy with how it's turning out at this point like a lot of the struggling that i was doing the other day it's uh finally paying off okay i'm just gonna go through my layers and see what i see what i have up here we've got some random stuff going on more highlights up here so I can give it a little bit of form this is as much as I can do honestly with the time that I had if I'm being honest with you guys <laughs> I just want to move on from this piece um, so we're just gonna add some finishing touches next first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make um, a new layer first rabbit texture brush Okay, let's put this on overlay. Lower passage you're like three percent, maybe fourteen percent. Looking good. Go ahead and select everything. <laughs> control J and then Control E. Alrighty. So I'm first gonna add a motion blur and then I'm gonna do a high pass. So let me think. I should do the high pass first. So let's go. Let's make another copy of this. Click on that. Filter. Other high pass. High pass is going to sharpen everything up a little bit more. 
think it's good this much. Then we're gonna put it on overlay. Maybe I'll lower the opacity a little bit. Cool. And then and merge these. And then now I'm gonna add a copy this layer. Cool. We'll mask this. And now we're gonna see the before and after. So, so this was the before and this is the after. Before, after. I feel like it turned out to be a pretty good piece. I could definitely spend more time into this and just keep refining it. But this could be a stopping, good stopping point as well. So yeah, so this was the, the final result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint this and watching me struggle <laughs> as well. <laughs> This was a tough one, but you know what? That's the name of the game, right? You just, you just, but you know, that's the name of the name of the game, right? You have to just, you know, keep pushing, keep pushing through, you know, it may or may not be your best piece ever, but I feel like it's always important to just get something done. Like just finish it. You know, you don't have to like sit on it for days and the weeks and months and maybe sometimes even years. Um, you're just wasting time at that point, you know? So even if you don't really like how a piece is turning out, just still do the best that you can finish it learn from your mistakes and then move on. All right, you guys, so that should be all for today. Thank you so much for coming by and watching this video. Um, I feel like in this, <laughs> this week was kind of rough, but I still wanted to go ahead and kind of just finish off this piece. And it also made me realize that I can't really rush good art. Like you cannot rush your art pieces, right? I feel like I barely got any extra time to work on stuff this week. I had a lot of stuff going on in my life, but at the end of the day, I'm still happy with how this turned out and I'm just gonna move on from this piece now. Um, and, it all, and I feel like it's very un an unrealistic expectation to expect myself to paint something every week. So I'm going to try to like do it where I, you know, do parts of it and eventually build it up and spend like a month on something. But for the next few weeks, I will be working on a prop design for this world. And I also picked up a, uh, a live stream subscription from Kenny Vo's YouTube channel. And so that's what we're going to be working on. So the first week is going to be, you know, reference gathering, sketching, ideation, and then eventually spending the next three weeks, you know, refining and building a prop. So I was thinking of like doing like those little um, cave houses, cave homes that I wanted to design. So I'm just going to be working on those next few weeks. We'll be doing a little bit of sketching. We'll be using 3D. We'll be doing all kinds of cool, cool stuff. And I'm um, just going to be working on my homework, right? And then just sharing that with you guys. Maybe some of the techniques that I use, you might, you guys might find it helpful. So. Yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for coming by watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.